and we're going to be doing needle felting today. And instead of the traditional fibers, which is beautiful, we are going to be using some different types of fibers. I noticed that you brought us some artwork that you've created, and it does incorporate a lot of unusual elements. And I see some machine stitching in there also. Yeah, so it's fun to enhance it with machine stitching. And I also see that you have paper art yes. under the needle. Yes, yeah. so again, we're doing those different fibers from Angelina fiber to silk rods and cocoons, and we're going to do it on paper. It's an extremely easy technique. It's no different if you use those traditional fibers versus um, the non-traditional fibers. So you fibers. do the same thing? Same thing. I'm just going to make sure that I lower my foot. I put my um, needle punch accessory set on the machine. With the five needles? With the five needles, and I'm just simply going to stitch. Now with paper, you want to be a little careful that you don't felt too much, but I love to add some of the Angelina fiber, which really gives it some sparkle. Mm -hmm. And felting too much would perforate the paper? Yes. And then we also have the silk cocoons. If I cut these apart and then spray them, and this is a painted silk cocoon. Yes, it's a dyed one. You can shape them a oh. little bit better. Just lay those into your composite. And when you felt over them, that will hold them in place? Yes. Now, if it doesn't quite hold it in place, I found the key is to perhaps do a little bit of machine beading. Oh, good idea. And then that will hold them down. And as we look at the piece that we started with, I've just laid those pieces down and you just keep building it like you were doing a floral arrangement. So you create your own composition. Correct. And when you like it, it's done. Good. For more information about needle felting and the supplies we've used, visit the Bernina website or your local Bernina dealer today. Mm -hmm.